Okay, uh, well welcome back to the channel everybody and welcome also if this is your first visit. Um, today we are on update number 9 I believe and we're going to be covering uh, changes to resources and also player building and crafting. Uh, as a quick explanation this is a test level so you won't necessarily find this amount of items in uh, one area um, but all of the items that you see and what we're going to craft are currently in game and available to craft and find so initially you spawn in with a shirt trousers and shoes um, not a lot of storage but uh, within a couple of moments you will see that that will soon change so we've made changes to wood so any wood you collect you also have a small chance of gathering stick stick is used in a number of uh, recipes more uh, initially the backpack um, so you can obtain stick from gathering wood or from right clicking and making sticks from wood directly in the inventory so we need to gather some wood you can also gather sticks um, or a small chance of gathering sticks by gathering berries uh, berries of course replace or replenish hunger and thirst so these are the initial items that you're going to find in the world when you spawn in okay uh, oh, more stones there uh, ten stones right it needs some more wood and uh, that should be enough okay so we can now craft a stone axe and stone pickaxe so we can gather more stone and wood so we equip these to the player these rocks are metallic so any metallic ore uh, will be mined from these you also as you can see have a chance of gaining limestone and sulfur which is also used in crafting later on there we go that's that one uh, rocks you get stone also limestone and sulfur this and we're good to go okay um, obviously trees then you're gonna get wooden sticks from and so on so forth that you get the idea okay so the idea really is to craft a backpack so we need uh, three sticks we have we don't have nails we don't have cloth we don't have rope to obtain cloth or nails, um, you would loot nails in containers in the world, or you could craft nails with scrap metal, uh, which you can gather from uh, any metallic food item, returns um, scrap metal, or drink item, returns scrap metal. Okay. The other way to obtain scrap metal is with a uh, pick that up, swap that over a crowbar by smashing metal barrels. Okay. The other way to obtain nails is to buy them. Initially, when you're able to craft the crafting bench. You can craft nails with scrap metal, which uh, I'll show later. So if I sell the scrap that we've got here, as you can see, we obtain Zomcoin, which we can use to buy three nails, which we need to craft the uh, starting backpack, basically. Um, so all we need now is cloth and cloth to make the rope. Cloth can be obtained by killing zombies. They have a chance to drop zombcoin, cloth, or other items. Um, 
or any equipment, clothing item, hat, um, you can right click and make rags to obtain cloth. And also cloth drops as a chance in containers in the world also. So uh, we need one rope and I believe that's it. Yeah. So we are now crafting a backpack and we're what five minutes in. So not too shabby. Let's wait for this to craft quickly. Um, so it's gone to the floor because there wasn't enough room in the inventory. We can equip it and then we're done. So the next thing ideally you want to be making is a building plan. For that we need cloth which we have but we need charcoal. To get charcoal um, you can find in the world uh, dotted around. I'll just place this quickly. Campfires or you can craft a campfire with scrap metal rope stone and a stick uh, we've almost got enough things here but i've just placed one for now in the campfire you place wood turn on and that will gradually convert uh, to charcoal which we need three of to make the building plan so one uh, the campfire has a flame effect and <coughs> damage if you get too close Two, one more. Any minute now. There. So let's turn that off for now because we don't need to burn away. And then we've got a building plan being crafted. So the building plan is the starting base building. Uh, let's just pick this one up here so that we've got one i know we're crafting one but it's just to speed things up really so the building plan so uh, when i have it there right click on the mouse opens up the radial menu which you can craft foundations triangle foundations window frames walls stairs door frames uh, doors uh, you get the idea from here uh, but you need the items in your inventory as you can see from the middle, it tells you the uh, ingredients that you need to build each particular item. Uh, each item varies, but again, you get the idea, okay? Um, just to speed things up, I've crafted some already. So we will take some foundations, a door frame, and a door, okay. So let's just go here. So foundations can be raised or lowered to your liking. Okay. There. So let's just place a couple of these now. Uh, just to have some room really. There we go. And I think one more row. There we go. So that's done. Okay. Um, stairs. I forgot stairs. One moment. Uh, let's put these back and just get the stairs and then place them. Uh, all of these items are craftable, of course, but I'm just doing it to speed things up for the sake of the video uh, door frame. And then a door. Okay, so we now have the skeleton of a base, I guess, uh, which you can open and close the door, enter and exit, as you would expect. Um, later on, you are able to craft a code lock, which you can place on the door. You can also find them in the world in containers also. Uh, but just to show you how easy it is, you place it, you set a code, and you're done. Uh, then you can lock or unlock or change the code as you wish so that the base is secure. Okay. 
so now that we have the sort of foundation done ideally we want to be doing or crafting a crafting bench again the materials you can see what you need uh, but just for speeding things up I have one here which we will right click and place either in the base or you can place on the ground where you want I'm just going to put it here inside the base and go into the menu so the initial menu for the player has basic items uh, just to get you started the main crafting starts from uh, excuse me <coughs> uh, starts from the crafting bench so nails metal ingredients items hammer um, uh, enables you to repair uh, building parts and also pick up building parts that you've placed i.e. the crafting bench if you want to move it you can do that um, you can create or craft a spawn tent so that when you die in the world um, you can spawn back at a location that you set so the tent you can either place um, rotate outside or inside the base if you wish I'm just going to place it here just for demonstrative purposes then you name the respawn point and set it and that's it okay so if we just go here and show you uh, uh, respawn point we spawn back at the tent okay so we just need to go back and collect what we've lost um, so uh, from looting a dead player you can either double click on the item and take the items out or scroll down and you can see the actual inventory here uh, let's get this back and this back that's empty I'll take them make rags take that make rags and then we're done okay so uh, where was I spawn point that works that's explained uh, next on the list where are they here ideally you want to be building a rain collector to collect and gather water okay this can be crafted um, at the crafting bench here uh, again I've just got one as an example here yep yeah. so you can either drink to replenish thirst or when you're able to loot uh, where are they there a empty water bottle okay you can go to the ring collector fill the containers as you can see we're now four of four uses and then you can drink the water and it uses one of the uses I guess so just again drink and then we've got two or four we go back to the collector fill the container we now have four of four okay uh, the next thing that you want to be crafting will be the furnace if I can uh, we don't need them Shut that there gather them there done that there we go so furnace furnace is used to um, let's go here with that uh, furnace place there we go the furnace is used to um, melt metallic ores okay so in the furnace you place wood as a fuel you place the ore if you split these down like so and turn on they will automatically start ah there's not enough okay. ah no, let's go and gather some more ore. That's a crowbar. Uh, take that there. We need the axe. Okay. 
Actually, no, I've got more ore here. Cloth, ore, there we go. Okay, now it's working. So you need um, a minimum of 10. So for some reason, there we go, now it's working. I split them down too much. And then they will give you metal bars, which you can then use for crafting. Um, here, um, metal sheets, metal bars, round metal bars. Okay. So again, this is the furnace. Let's just turn that off for now. Uh, the next thing you want to be uh, crafting ideally is the advanced campfire. Uh, different from the regular campfire. So this one, uh, you can basically cook meat or uh, purify water, I believe. Let's try... Uh, I need more wood. The wood's in the furnace. Let's go get some more wood very quickly. There we go. We have now four wood. And in here, a water bottle, wood, turn on. Okay. So the water will then purify, which gives you more hydration. Uh, the regular water gives you 25 thirst. And the purified water, off the top of my head, I don't recall exactly, but um, we'll see. Uh, 100 thirst, okay. Uh, let's put these back in here because I don't need these anymore. Done, okay. So the, did I pick that up? Yes, the advanced campfire. So the advanced campfire, is as it explains slightly more advanced than the regular campfire okay so in here you have recipes for purified water berry water orange water juice juice it replenishes more than uh, purified water more recipes will be added in these are just as an example for now okay and again the same thing I've left the wood in the campfire here I uh, know it all burned. Okay, let's go get some more wood. Very quickly. And wood. Okay, so the campfire again has uh, an on and off turn on effect. The same as. Oh, there's the wood in the furnace. Yep. Done. Uh, so the crafting food and drink items. Uh, when you have those, then um, we could start crafting weapons and ammo. Uh, we can start making biofuel, which replaces the fuel for the vehicle. You can craft a vehicle, uh, which I will show you now. If I have it here, yes. Yeah, so this is the uh, crafted vehicle, uh, which you can drive. Okay. Um, as you can see, when we get in, uh, it has half a tank of fuel. In order to refill, we need a full gas can. We get an empty gas can and oh, pick it up again and use. Nothing will happen. Okay, if we drop the gas can and pick up a full gas can and use that. There we go. We get in and we now have uh, that was the driver, sorry, passenger seat. Uh, full tank of fuel. Okay. Done. Okay, so that is the um, 
fuel cans, but you could also uh, craft a distiller. I'm running out of space. Quickly. There we go. Put this here because I keep forgetting my wood. Distiller. Okay. Uh, we get some wood from there and place the wood in there. And in the distiller, you can make biofuel uh, cooking oil, which is an ingredient for biofuel. And you also need sugar and rum. Okay. Let's turn this off for now. To make sugar and rum, uh, you need a chemistry bench, I believe. No. Let's try and pick up. Yeah, let's just place all these down and then we can just look at the crafting recipes then. So, weapon bench. This is still quite new to me as well because these are uh, have been added uh, this last week. So, uh, again, still very much work in progress. Uh, but they are all working. Uh, grinder. Okay. Tanning rack. Table saw. There we go. We've got two. And let's just place these down. And then the table saw. Place that there. What else do we have? A spit mixer. And something else. Uh, the lathe. this uh, let's just go with that and cloth no chemistry bench there we go the very last thing place done okay so where are we um, we've seen the crafting bench so all of these recipes are in here uh, with the ingredients that are needed either gathered or looted all available in game currently okay table saw uh, cement mixer okay so if we just go through one by one weapon bench and ammo bench okay so we can make some basic weapons again more will be added as time goes on um but all of these are craftable and um yep, um available right now so uh ammo you can make ammo so with that you need gunpowder scrap metal and metal and ammo casings ammo casings are craftable here with scrap metal and gunpowder is craftable with sulfur fertilizer and charcoal which we've been gathering by burning wood uh, fertilizer is also um, craftable but also lootable in the world so um, as you can see the items there to make fertilizer and that's what gets you gunpowder to make the ammo casings to make the ammo for whichever type of weapon that you want to make the ammo for uh, grinder you can grind uh, let me get some biofuel quickly okay and I will before I put it all in split this and put some in here so the ammo bench has a turn on sound which you then would craft what you want with um let's take that out turn that off the grinder again takes biofuel uh, if you try to put wood in there i don't believe it will accept it same as the ammo bench no nope. and the grinder no nope. okay so biofuel uh the grinder 
bit noisier but it is on a distance so it's only in proximity um, the settings are uh, changed by um, if it gets too noisy you can just turn the effects down you know what I mean so uh, turn that off now uh, so yeah, so you can make sand by grinding stone, lime powder by grinding limestone. Now let's just put some in. Uh, is that going to continue crafting? No. Okay. Turn that down for a second. There we go. So we now have some lime powder and sand. Okay. Uh, lime powder and sand are used to make cement with sulfur. and cement to make stone build parts you need cement mix which is basically dry cement and uh, dry cement and purified water so we now have some dried cement we go to the cement mixer we put in some Turn that off, biofuel. So we need some dry cement and purified water. Turn on and then we can make cement mix. Dry cement, one water bottle. Ah, right, okay, hang on a moment. So I need to drink the water because it's purified water. Just one second. Oh no, I can just go to refill it here. Ah, no I can't, okay. So you need to drink this quickly. So this will, when it's finished, one more, will return an empty bottle. There we go, which we can now refill as a water bottle put into the cement mixer and craft some cement mix there we go three seconds two seconds one second so we now have cement mix with that we need stones and uh, did I leave stones in here? We've got four. Um, do I have more stones here? Let's have a look quickly. Cloth. Show you again. Stones. There we go. Uh, cement mixer. Uh, let's just make a. We need ten stones, five cement mix. Ah, we didn't put the stones in. Stone foundation. There it is. There it is. Let's blow out here. You can either attach it to the existing base um, as so, or what you want to do. Okay. So then we have stone build parts. Um, lathe. Okay. The lathe uh, makes metal build parts metal items um, which again uh, we've started adding some recipes so the initial base would be wood uh, that you can either upgrade from wood to stone and then stone to metal or when you have these items in your base then you're able to craft um, metal or uh, stone 
or wood items directly okay so in here if I just put the fuel in turn on the effects have gone to low audio zoom so there should be a sound effect coming from that which is not working currently um, but yeah so wood items from the table saw again uh, stone and metal from over there tanning rack you're able to um, get animal fat from uh, killing animals basically so you need animal skin um, animal skin there and here animal skin crafting animal fat which you can then use to uh, next to me make cooking oil then that turns into biofuel with the rum and sugar okay uh, I believe that is here there yeah so sugar from sugar cane rum from sugar cane yeast and purified water yeast made by flour and purified water flour by gathering wheat wheat and um, sugarcane are gatherable and collectible in the world as you can see here sugarcane and wheat so all of the recipes that are there currently um, are available to go ready to go so is there anything that I didn't show lathe metal bed code lock. yeah so that's the code lock which you can also put let me go here very quickly and get a storage chest and a code lock so obviously you've got your door secure you'd have walls surrounding the base uh, you are going to want to place and build um, storage chests so that you can put your loot inside like so um, items are either uh, left clicked and dragged in and out of inventory okay or you left click so left control left mouse click takes them out okay nice and easy okay so the code lock you can also place on chests so now nobody can enter that chest without the code unless it's unlocked same as the door okay so if you have a group of players so we have the um the squad and group system where you can team up with other players or have other players join your game um uh, once they have the code it's unlocked then uh, they've got access to the chess also um what else was i going to show i think that's about it oh no the other item which i think i've got in here um, maybe not no so in the crafting bench you have the option to build a storage tent the same as the uh, the spawn point tent um, or at the table saw uh, you can build a storage chest uh, animal trap might be a good one to look at so wood nail and berries uh, wood nails no let's go here okay let me just go get some nails I'll take that anyway cloth ah oh, that's where I dropped earlier okay uh, sugar cane nails there we go 
and berries. Okay. So at the uh, crafting bench, you can craft a no at the table sort because it's a wooden item um, an animal trap which I don't have enough five wood no I need more wood no yes now I can make an animal trap No, I need to put the items in. Okay, so wood, nail, and berries. Uh, nail, berries, wood, animal trap, done. Okay. So these you can place around your base um, to uh, trap animals, which will give you meat and animal skin. The animal skin I showed earlier, you can um, turn the fat into oil. Uh, here uh, animal fat again um, which will then give you um, in the distiller you can craft cooking oil to make the biofuel okay uh, is this made now yeah let's grab this little one and place that either in the base it doesn't matter or on the ground outside uh, over time this will then gather uh, meat and skins from trapping animals uh, as you would expect the other thing that is craftable at the table saw as a start for now we'll add more as things go on uh, you can place wooden spikes around your base also so that anything that comes <coughs> within range <coughs> Um, we'll take damage. Okay. So, yeah, you will take damage from the spikes as they snap together, the same as the foundations, um, or Um, just roughly placing these for now there we go you get the idea um, yeah <coughs> obviously this would take a bit longer when you're uh, out gathering and whatnot um, but yeah I think you get the idea so that's basically player building crafting Resources, recipes, um, now that the stations are all um, uh, craftable and in game. Uh, the other thing I forgot to show actually was the vehicle. So when you've crafted a vehicle, uh, it goes to your inventory. You do as any other build part, uh, place it, get in it, uh, just drive off. And that's it so hope you enjoyed any questions leave them down in the comments uh, we've also got a discord now which is growing slowly but we are growing the community so any questions or any feedback any comments any suggestions are always welcome so I'll put the link for the discord in the um, description as well uh, hope you enjoyed um, yeah so this is it update number nine um, signing off for now.